The Sega Mega Drive, or the Sega Genesis in the USA. The first console that I vividly remember. Though we did own a master system first, I was but a wee baron at this age, and this is what I sunk my teeth into as a nipper. Blissfully unaware of the console wars going on around me, I spent countless hours in front of this thing as a kiddie. As a matter of fact, I still own my original Mega Drive 1, and it still works perfectly. But we're dangerously digressing from the point. Alright then, boy, I am let em come in it, and we're here to find out about some of the dirty cheats and hidden extras in this Mega Drive edition of... Damn Dirty Cheating! Streets of Rage 3, an interesting end to the series. Well, if you don't consider fighting force that is, but overall nothing beats 2 in my books. But there's some pretty cool added extras available here, so let's get stuck in. Now, this cheeky chappy teased here on the box art is a kangaroo imaginatively named Roo, but he's not accessible immediately and must be unlocked via a code. He's got a pretty cool move set allowing you to pull off some pretty little combos like this. Useful when you've been grabbed by Lester the molester from behind like this over here. Or my favourite, the sliding, sliding floor faced idiot. What is he actually doing? Surely that's counterintuitive to an actual fight. But he's not the only unlockable here. Here's an easier one to do with skate. Simply start the first level and get your ass handed to you without throwing a single punch. This will allow you to come back as Super Skate, who has this stupid but effective move, the Improvised Idiot Shuffle. We look at him go, boy! I'm not content to play as one of these guys, though. Why not play as one of the bosses, Shiva? But to play as him, you're going to have to beat him. And that is no mean feat on the English version of the game. The difficulty setting on the English version, just on medium alone, is actually equivalent to one of the hardest levels about on the Japanese one. So go figure that for some reason. Change it down if you fancy it, or if up for a challenge and getting your ass kicked quite a few times, leave it on medium. Now, Shiva is a complete badass and definitely the coolest cat in the game. Busting moves and skulls alike on the dance floor. Hey, look out Shiva! Everybody was kung fu fighting! Uh, I'll try and claim that's fair use. But for the ultimate unlockable, you'll have to switch over to the Japanese version, for a character that was completely cut from the Western version of the game. Ash. Oh, Japan. Like the living embodiment of Mr. Slave and a Camp M. Bison, and this must be the developer's idea of what a gay man looks like. Just Japan. General Chaos, a real little gem of a game. As a matter of fact, it's so good I even wrote a little ditty about it in my O2 series, which you can check out on my channel or at the end of the video. How's that for a bit of shameless self-promotion? But on with the cheats. Now, these really fall under dirty little tricks and tips, but if you've ever stayed too long in a body of water in this game, you'll have realised you can drown. But did you know you can also drown the enemy players? To do so, all you have to do is get them into the water, pause the game for a few seconds, wait, and unpause. Do this several times over to result in a drowned soldier, useful for taking out those extra troops foolish enough to enter the water only to find themselves stuck in a deadly time warp of your design. Now, one drowned man isn't good enough though. Pick a level with a river and drown the whole lot of them, why not? You love it, you dirty drowning sadists. This dirty little cheat can also be applied to the grenade chucker. Simply select your man, fire off a grenade, and pause the game. Then watch as everyone plays a combination of musical statues and pull the pin off a live grenade. Boom. 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 boom.
speaking of tips and tricks, here's another one from everyone's favourite upright tripe edel red alien toe jam and his fat yellow slug of a mate, Earl. Now, when I think of classic hidden extras, this one always comes to mind. A cheat I hold dear to my heart, as I remember the sense of wonder and achievement a young me felt when I discovered this all on me Todd whilst asking about on this many moons ago. To activate this, you need to gather up as many presents as you can. What you are looking for is either the Icarus wings, rubber ring, or rocket boots. Once acquired, swim, fly, or shoot yourself like a raving rocket booted madman down to the bottom left corner of the map. Oh yes, and if you'd like an extra bunch of presents, for an added bonus, go up to the northeast corner of the map for about six or seven extra on this island over here. Now, back down to that bottom left hand corner. Here you will reach a small ring of land, fall through it to reach the Hidden Level Zero, where you may sup at the fabled lemon cup. Hula to your heart's content. <laughs> Look at those red eyes. And titter and giggle and chat and steal all their presents and open them up and cause chaos and do unmentionable things in the hot tub. Yes, come on now. How can I mention cheats that immediately spring to mind on the Mega Drive without mentioning this one? The granddaddy of codes, the one I first learnt by heart and father of fannying about, the debug mode code. But to enter this, you're first going to have to enter the level select cheat. With this little doozy under your belt, you can enter the level select screen, which looks a little bit like this. And from there, you may enter the debug code. May his trials begin. Right, let's try and write something, shall we? Yeah. Right, round in a circle, and Sonic in the middle. Yeah, brilliant. Mm, it's not really working how I want it to. Mm. What about loads of enemies? Yeah. Ground up, ground up, ground up. Oh, that's quite dangerous, actually. What's that? You want to shoot me? Sorry, mate, I'm a ring. That's better. That's more like it. Yeah. Ah, bellissimo. Why do we always do that? And then I broke the game. Whoa, well, totally radical, dude. All right, mate, cheers for watching. What were some of your favourite cheats? Any crazy codes you want to see in the next one? Let me know in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed this episode, do subscribe to my channel here. And if you're in the mood for something a little different, why not check out my O2 series, Ahia. Uh, thank you and good night.